Good day. Reed here, back at Orchestra Farm. Thanks for joining me. My little morning walkabout. So for the few people who watched the video of uh, the new looping pedals, first little experiment. Thanks for checking that out. And you now I'm usually here, but I am anticipating in my future having more videos similar, completely different than that, demonstrating the happenings in my studio realm. One of my other favorite places to be, along with being feet on the earth, mixed up with the plants, increasing the biology of the soil, and it's a highlight of those two aspects of being. I kind of wanted to chat with you about today as I look at the blueberries here. And oh, there's still a few more. That's kind of a lot. Yum. And that is you know we are these walking ecosystems and you might be like what when you think about our microbiome now if you don't know we're basically covered and internally by all these little organisms and if we had microscopic eyeballs, we could see them. We've been co-evolving for the entirety of evolution. And yeah, I'm definitely believe in evolution. It's pretty cool. It's still happening as far as I'm concerned, which is also quite cool. And with that, there's levels of conversation that can happen because frankly everything is communicating with everything else there's been a lot of great research that's been happening relating with plants and how the soil works and again if we had microscopic vision and you look at the soil you would see that if it's really healthy it's teeming with life there's more life in a handful of soil than people on the planet. Think about that. And there's a whole bunch of conversation, communication, inter-exchange of all kinds of things. All oh, right, I really got to get here and harvest elderberries. Look at this tree. I'm going to let my wife know. Let me zoom in on that. See that? Those are great. Anyway, and... Part of the way I like to think about it is when you're a baby, you're still learning how to use your body. So you can't really walk very well at first, then you gain some dexterity there. And then with your hands, you know, you gain dexterity there. And depending on the paths and such that you choose in life, you increase that to the point of potentially becoming, let's say, a master of some task or quality or ability. And maybe you never get that far, but you get proficient. Well, that's because it's really easy to see your hands and your body. And that this goes relationally as well. We've discovered that there's a relational intelligence, emotional intelligence as aspects of, I all see it as part of like our just general intelligence. And then the question is like, what are you focusing on with that? And so, bring this forward to be like when you're aware of something, then you can develop it and build it and become more competent with it. So, as we acknowledge all these different life forms that we live with and live as, it's easier to develop a relationship with them and to communicate with them to live a healthier, better life. And one of the ways in which I found it intriguing to communicate like this is actually through the artistic realms. So this notion of rather than having like a clear thought in your mind of something you want to write about, as a for instance, or to draw or to play music as, just kind of clearing the mental space, 
sinking in, I'll give examples in some other video, with the realm of all these microbiological levels and see if you can just allow what's there to communicate. And it does not need to be sensical. In fact, I encourage anyone who's going to try this to allow completely nonsensical things to come through. And interpretation is something that people really love to do and give meaning to things. But in this case, I actually think it's important to just allow things to be what they are, to not interpret them, to not assign meaning prematurely so that whatever actually is there and happening can just be of itself. And that's a good stage one. And yes, you could include movement and dance kind of things with this. All that plays its parts. And it's been my experience that when I do that, I find my ability to listen to these subtle keys of life increases and I notice other patterns emerge that have relevance to how myself and everything else is growing. Now if you're interested in this and all of the intricacies interrelated with it, I plan to offer a workshop where I will go into more of these processes, ways of grounding and acknowledging all of this, and then some, and then demonstrate a bunch of different practices that I utilize between artistic realms and ways of walking in the world and forest. That's both literal and figurative. <clears throat> and that's uh, some of what I'm thinking about this morning as I head into my main job. With that, I want to say thanks for watching these videos. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Thanks for all the comments. I'd love to hear any comments that you have about all this. And remember to have too much fun.